Yesterday I got to attend the Scottish Highland Games in Stone Mountain, Georgia. Uh, this is an annual event that happens every October and it's really, it's really awesome. You, you get to see uh, really big guys throwing around 25 pound hammers, uh, doing sheath throwing, and even doing caber tossing. Um, and so you get to actually see what is essentially professional Scottish uh, games uh, participants, uh, athletes, um, performing this really kind of almost archaic act um, in terms of the sport. Uh, but it's really awesome. And on top of that, as if that wasn't kind of awesome enough, it's this whole festival it ends up being a reunion for many Scottish families and clans. And they even have uh, multiple bagpipe bands come. And one of the coolest things actually is a video I already posted, which is uh, a 600 piece band, uh, roughly around four to 450 um, bagpipes and uh, another roughly 200 drummers all playing in unison. It's really incredible. And I, I know the video doesn't do it justice, but it, being there live is really amazing. Um, but it's very much a modern affair for the most part. It, it, it's, it's modern appeal and you're, you're watching the, the games uh, as the primary focus. So it's not quite like a renaissance festival, although there is kind of a festival air to it. You have a lot of vendors there and they're selling uh, mostly the Scottish uh, paraphernalia, things like kilts and hats and shoes and socks and um, different types of clan tartans and all this type of stuff. Um, but I did come across uh, one group uh, it took me a while to figure out what their company name was. Apparently they're kind of brand new to, to actually doing fairs. And this was actually apparently their first time doing anything like this. Um, they're called the Wild Highlanders. And they actually do a couple different things. I saw some uh, riveted aluminum chain mail there. Um, and they had some swords and whatnot that apparently they are making. Um, very, very new to it. So I, don't, I really can't speak to the quality of a lot of their stuff. But I did come across the main thing they were selling at their booth, uh, specifically at the Highland Games yesterday, was actually this big wooden mallet. Um, and it's definitely a modern recreation, right? There's nothing real special about it. Uh, the, the wooden head is actually, it looks like it's a, like essentially a railroad tie that has been cut off and trimmed. And, and given some, some basic edge and beveling to it. Um, and the handle is, is a pretty decent wood haft. Uh, I would be a little bit afraid just because of the size difference and the weight difference over there, boy it's heavy on the head, um, that it would actually potentially break. Uh, and it is a lot, a lot of this is, is mostly decorative. Uh, specifically they got uh, some what's essentially twine rope that has been, uh, these are basically carpet tack nails or upholstery nails uh, that have been kind of tacked into it. So it looks really nice and they've got this kind of uh, synthetic rope little handle piece here, although this is really, I mean this would take two hands to even heft really. Um, and I thought it was pretty cool because it was only $30 and the only reason I'm really highlighting this is because this kind of thing is very hard to find online. I don't know what it is about kind of war mallets or mallets in general. I call it a war mallet because, I mean, let's face it, what else would this thing be used for? I guess you could drive some stakes into the ground. Um, but for the most part, this kind of thing is actually very, very hard to find. And I don't really know the reason. I would imagine some of it has to do with uh, kind of the safety concerns, which is weird because, I mean, they sell swords online. Um, but I think that there, there might be some concern with that. And also, people don't tend to, to sell a lot of wood-based uh, items and so when you do find war hammers, uh, it would actually be like these back here, which are actually metal war hammers, and not so much a giant mallet. Um, but I wanted to pick this up because more for anything, just for decorative purposes. And I don't really know that I'll review this because I don't really know how functional. I mean, it's functional. You can certainly hurt someone with this if you're actually trying to use it. And I'm sure you could actually uh, drive some stakes into the ground or tenderize something. Um, but because I didn't really buy this to be functional, it's going to kind of sit in the corner and, and look kind of nice. Um, but I thought it was pretty neat, and for only $30, I, I figured it was actually a pretty good deal, just because of a little bit of effort that, that went into making this. Um, this isn't a very hard thing to actually make yourself, um, but I, I figured I would support them and their efforts to uh, build their own little company. Um, and I'd also get something cool out of it. Uh, so I just wanted to share that. I thought it was pretty neat. You always kind of look for those hidden gems whenever you go to something like a, a Highlands game. And this was certainly, certainly the hidden gem there, uh, in my opinion. Of course, there were so many great things. Um, and if, you're, if you live in the southeastern area and you're able to go into the Atlanta area in Georgia uh, ever, uh, as being in the U.S. anyway, um, 
I would highly suggest that around October, uh, usually in the middle of October, that you check out the Highland uh, Games because it's a fantastic event. It's so much fun. You get to go there, you get to eat uh, haggis, you get to eat all these things that really, really are actually pretty hard to find elsewhere. But anyway, quick video on, on this mallet. I just thought it was pretty neat and I figured I would share. Uh, I'm going to share the website information for the company uh, that made them. I will note that on their website, under the, the kind of the mallet area, the Warhammer area, they don't actually have a picture uh, of this item, the thing they're actually selling. They have just kind of a, what well, almost looks like a stock image of, of a war mallet, not their own. Um, but they do have pictures of swords and, and whatnot that they are apparently making and selling. Uh, I can't speak to the quality of those things. I can only speak to the quality of this, and that is mostly decorative, but pretty darn awesome looking, at least from a distance. So anyway, uh, this is, again, the Wild Highlanders uh, War Mallet.